This is everything that you need to know in order to make cookie butter cake slices. Like a pro, of course. First, I start off by baking my batter in sheet pans. I believe these sheet pans are 19 by 13. I'll have them linked in the description below so you can get exactly what I use. For the batter, you can use any cookie butter recipe out there or add cookie butter to your own vanilla cake recipe. Personally, I use my cookie butter dream cake recipe, which is available at thestationbakery.com. And yes, the batter actually has cookie butter in it. One sheet can make 12 cake slices, but I'm using only half a sheet for these cookie butter cake slices, which means that I'm able to make six perfectly sized cake slices. I cut my sheets in half because it makes it easier to wrap and put into my freezer. It also makes it super easy for me to cut nice clean cake slices. And as you can see, my cake slices fit perfectly inside of these boxes. I absolutely love these boxes for my cake slices. Once the cake is in the box, I begin to ice them with my cookie butter buttercream. You can also use any buttercream that you like and add cookie butter to it, but I personally favor my cookie butter buttercream. I like a decadent look for my cake slices, so I didn't put the buttercream on the cake slices perfectly. However, in the future, I may ice the cake in buttercream first and then slice them just to give the buttercream a more crisp edge on the cake. Next, I crush up Biscoff cookies using either my handheld food processor or if I'm making a large batch, I'll use my large food processor. I aim for a mix of fine cookie pieces and chunks as I feel this combination gives a good texture for the cake. I then add crushed Biscoff cookie pieces on top of the cake slice. Then I melt down some more cookie butter to drizzle on top to add a little more decadence and pizzazz. I top off with a whole Biscoff cookie for decoration and then they are ready to be packaged up. I love these boxes because they show the product so well and then I can add my custom labels to them to make them look even better. I store them in the fridge overnight to keep them fresh for the farmer's market or whatever event I'm taking them to. This is my process for how I create my cookie butter cake slices. If you like this video or if you think that you're going to give it a try, please like this video and let me know in the comments below. If you love this type of content, be sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out when I post my next sweet treat. Until then guys, peace.